Hey Legionnaires and welcome back with some more Napoleonic action as we return to the NTW3 mod for Napoleon Total War. And today the French and their Austrian allies are defending against a coalition of forces at Dresden. So yeah we have a, we have a core battle that seems like going on today. We have a, a Ney here, uh, one of the French corps. We have uh, Schwarzenberg, we have uh, Murat with all of his cavalry I presume and we also have Eugene all the way out there. It seems like uh, we already have maybe a little bit of fighting going on over here. Seems like we've got some hussars here. Uh, they look like they might be, uh, I don't know what they're doing. Are they routing? Are they routing a unit out of here? Looks like they're routing something. But uh, we already have uh, artillery setting up here. Murat has got his uh, horse artillery set up. He's got some dragoons as well. Seems like they're already pounding away at the Prussians. So it seems like today they will be facing, uh, I don't know, it looks like maybe two Prussian armies, a Russian, maybe two Russian armies as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's not necessarily historically accurate because uh, the Austrians by this point were fighting um, fighting with the Allies at Dresden, so this isn't a historical one, but it's nice to see the Austrians here, I mean, uh, being represented, even if they are fighting for the dirty French today. Um, but I'm sure the Russians and the Prussians have more than enough uh, in their arsenal to defend and defeat the Russians, not defend, they will certainly be attacking today, I imagine. As you can see already, Prussian columns marching down here. They are certainly on the offensive, that is for sure. So we've got some, I don't know what uh, like what pressure this is, but I mean, these these guys kind of make me think it's 1806, but I don't know. Surely not. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe it is. Yeah, I'm going to say this is 1806 Prussia. This is definitely not the historical Prussia that you would uh, know and love. I'm pretty sure it was an 1813 Prussia. I might be wrong. This might be the right Prussia, but this looks like the uh, like the old version of Prussia, the Prussia that's uh, still yet to reform. But uh, yeah, it seems like Prussia's pushing hard right now on Murat here. It looks like uh, Eugene's gonna have to probably bring some infantry across if they're gonna defend this side of the river. I mean, they may not. They may just uh, like defend the town and the surrounding area. They may not try and defend out here like uh, Murat is trying to do at the moment with his cavalry. But he certainly needs to get this cavalry back. Like, this cavalry is danger close. I mean, it is hidden. These uh, hussars here need to definitely get out of here. They look glorious, though. Look at, like, the capes on their shoulders. Looking glorious. But yes, if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 and would like to see some more Napoleonic action, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show you support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated, and it really helps out the channel. And, uh, yeah. Also, if you want to send in your own NTW3 replays, you think Pope's got some, uh, needs some better replays. He needs some even, I've got some really glorious ones to send in to him. Then, uh, send them in to the Discord, the link, join the Discord, the link's down below in the description, and that is the best way to send them in. Uh, but we've got some, uh, Trilliers here, these guys are falling back. It seems like they don't fancy fighting the hordes of Russians who are on the way here. This is definitely 1806 Russia, you can tell by the flag. Um, so again, this is like, not the sort of Russian troops that you can see at Dresden at this point. Why well, I'm not saying it's a historical battle, but it's a cool battle anyway. It's nice to see. Nice to see, uh, like Dresden being used. I think this is the first time we've seen this map actually being used. I do have a historical battle of Dresden to show you guys as well at some point, but I felt like we'd have a, a non-historical battle today. And uh, but it's still, still at the same time, it's kind of relatively historical. Like they've gone with the same sort of sides. We don't have like Britain here, for instance, or. Oh, look at that, though. That building has been destroyed and killing a bunch of Russians. Actually routing this Russian unit. Look at that. That's a big win there. France already killing, like, inadvertently killing a load of Russians. And it seems like uh, France is going to defend this uh, river crossing here with, uh, well, Ney's going to defend it, to be precise. But yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of infantry set up here. We've got, even got Grenadiers, the line, ready to go. And these boys will be glorious, leading the line. It seems like, look at this, I presume these are like the walls of Dresden. I don't know if Dresden had walls at this point, but <laughs> it's like earth and walls here are very interesting, put it like that. Very interesting. Oh, we've got French uh, cavalry deep in enemy lines here. Okay, so France already going in. Uh, looks like his Chasseur Cheval maybe here. Yeah, I think it's like Chasseur Cheval. And they look like they were getting chased off. I don't know by what exactly these guys are. Like maybe a Dragoon unit or by looks of it maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but here we go. Franz going in with some Dragoons, and he's going after, it looks like, some Hussars over here. Looks like a Hussar unit has been taken out 
I mean, the Dragoon's also routed, so I mean, I guess it's not a bad trade off, but I mean. I feel like, I mean, I feel like that Dragoon unit could have taken both of those units. Like these units of Prussians here were tiny. And um, we've got even more uh, cavalry action over here. Seems like we've got another, like, Hussar unit over here. Looks like that is routing what looks like, I don't know, some light cav of some sort here for Prussia. And we have in the woods here, we've got some uh, Hussars that are going to be routing some, uh, some skirmishes here in a moment, I imagine. But it's not going to be the greatest of charges, but it should be enough. The morale's pretty low, though. They were getting shot at, but these Hussars are now uh, in amongst the Prussians and routing them. Glorious! And we've got, uh, look at this, Eugene's got some artillery, Italian artillery here, shelling the Prussians as they cross the river here. That is a glorious, glorious sight. But, uh, yeah, it seems like, um, it seems like the French cavalry's been all but routed. This is a really, like, healthy unit as well, so, I mean, I imagine Prussia's gonna run this down, make sure it does not return. It's a real shame. And we see Austrian cav as well, trying to go forward here, some hussars, oh! How it's is going off, scaring off the Hussars. We also have uh, Prussians forming square here. And we have more columns of Prussians on the way. These boys looking ready to go. I mean, these look like Prussians and Russians. I feel like these guys here are definitely Russians. But they disappear now into the uh, back into the fog of war. Got more columns of Prussians over here as well that are appearing. And definitely Russians. These guys, yeah. That's definitely like a Prussian-Russian sort of like unit there. So that's interesting to see. And the first line battles are underway over here. Ney is now engaged with the uh, with the Russians already. There we go. France already lo loosing some volleys. Loosing, firing some volleys. I'm thinking of medieval period. Or the medieval period where you loose arrows. You now have gunpowder. You can now fire. And fire you must for your emperor to save his empire. He truly is here, these guys using the jewel. I presume that the only place they can cross this is, is this uh, bridge here. But they're going to jewel the entire way across this, um, this river, I guess, just trying to try and weaken units. You can see cavalry already for uh, France and Russia as well. Looks like that. they're setting up for a fight. We've got some Chevaliers here, some uh, Vedenberg, some German. Uh, for now, they are loyal to the Emperor, but they may change sides after Dresden. Who knows? It also looks like we've got uh, some, looks like some Dragoons back there that are also coming forward for Russia. And they're going to charge. And here we go. Brace, men! The Russians are coming! The Russians are coming! And in they come. Artillery's all firing off. And we've got Stresser Cheval now coming in. I feel like these, this cavalry here has just been... Ambush, really. We've got even more Dragoons now for Russia coming in. And they're helping to rout the French Cav. And now France has got, I mean, he's got more Chevalier Lancers, more like Westphalians, which is good, but don't want to be losing Cav too, uh, too quickly and too easily. And here we go. Looks like Russia's going to push across this bridge. The Musketeers are coming forward. This building has fallen Prepare. to the enemy. Prepare to charge, men. And they go. Oh, brutal volley. Right to the last second. A brutal volley into the Russians. And we now have uh, Grenadiers, the line going in as well. They really want to make sure that they, uh, they win this combat here. And Russia throwing in more. And look at this mess. I thought we were playing Napoleon's Dota War, not like a teller or something. This isn't how you fight. Not melee. I don't know who's gonna win this. Grenadier is kind of suffering as well. The Russians are broken. The Russians are broken, and the Grenadiers—they seem like they're doing okay. They lost a lot of men already. They need to get like a unit here. Need to get like a, a spare infantry unit up and like set up on the flanks to fire into this Russian league unit. But I mean, in fairness, Ney looks kind of short on infantry already, and he's breaking. He's lost that. Um, he's lost his fight here, his melee fight, and also he's lost the uh, the range fight. 
you can see France sending in more. And Russia can cross here. Russia's crossing already. But France has now rallied those Russians across, but Russia is uh, quite happy to send in more. We've got a, like a Carabineer unit here. Carab yeah, Carabineers as uh, like light infantry. These guys are pretty good in melee though, I imagine. They kind of look like old guard, but they're not old guard. They have broken though. Maybe they're not so great. They got such quite a lot of men. <laughs> Jeez. I'm seeing like is Eugene setting up infantry over here. We've got Italian line setting up. And the French are having uh, building crumble onto them. I wonder if this unit I think like this unit must have lost men to that, but I'm not sure. And now the Austrians are now dueling with Prussia over here, so it's all going off right now. Prussia's probably thinking, How dare you, Austria! How dare you fight for the French! You don't fight for liberty, you fight for tyranny. I mean, they probably do, to be fair. Austria, like, at this point, is, like, equally, a like, a, under a monarchy. They're all tyrants, really. Just not the tyrants. Apparently, Napoleon's just not the tyrant they want. I mean, they look very nice in their pristine white uniforms, but I'm sure that's going to change, and they're going to become very bloody. Uh, but we'll come back over here, because it seems like where all the action currently is going on. Seems like, uh, well... I say it's all going on. It seems like it's dying down now because uh, France is having to retreat and what, what's left of Ney's corps and now Eugene is over here trying to do their best to, uh, to retreat. It seems like Eugene's got a lot of his troops in the next layer to defend, really. He's got, more, he's got some carabineers as well. He's got lots of uh, like Italian infantry. These guys aren't... Italians aren't as good as the French infantry. I believe, but uh, I could be wrong, but I believe, certainly in history they fall very, very well, but uh, I don't know in the game whether they're as good as like the proper French infantry, I'm not entirely sure. Then again, the French didn't really uh, show themselves off too well there, so who knows, maybe they'll do better than the Italians. Over on this flank though, oof, oh, it's already going off everywhere. On this flank over here though, there is a lack of infantry, just a lot of cav, um, because, well, Eugene's got like lots of cav, we've got uh, Dragoons of the Royal Guard of uh, Italy here. That's a pretty cool unit. They should do pretty well. Um, we've got Curassius here of Murat. Always good to see them. Um, Hussars. We've got Arturi now setting up over here. We've got a five pounder. He's, this bad boy's getting ready to go. But I feel like Prussia's got the advantage on this side. They have it, infantry and uh, they could push if they wanted to. Uh, they just have to worry about cabs. Form square, they should be okay. We've got French Cav all the way back here, by the way, as well. She says Cheval have re rallied. That's good to see. Yeah, I mean, here for instance, like Prussia could just push. I mean, there's not much infantry to stop them. There's guns and there's Cav, but even then, there's not much that much Cav. There's some cuirassiers, which are, yeah, pretty scary. But nothing like not too much in the way of Cav, to be fair. And we still got artillery rolling in as well. Where Eugene's got his uh, Italian artillery here rolling on in. Hurry up, boys, there's a battle to be won. Yeah, here we go. Russia is uh, re engaging by the looks of it. In France, a little bit. I mean, this like might be uh, on this line. I was thinking it was a Laguerre. That's why they could aim, but the aim is far, but no. I'm going to say there is. Issues. France is two might be okay, but I don't know. Depends if, they, if they're using like the later period cores, they should be okay. I don't know. These guys look pretty good, all in their blue, pristine uniforms. Here we go, charge from French Cavalier, Dragoons coming forward, Prussia has formed square just in time. I think these guys are Grenadiers, so yeah, these two guys can usually form square. And they've routed those Dragoons pretty easily. That was a very, very easy, uh, very, very easy uh, cavalry charge to repel. I wonder whether if uh, Austria was sort of engaging his infantry, whether that would be more successful. I always find, like, if you send cavalry forward, you have to send infantry forward as well. Like, the two together work really well. Um... Napoleon famously said that as well at Waterloo. Go on, line infantry set up. You're getting shot at by Russians. A volley. Send these Russians back to the abyss from once they came from. But, uh, here we go. Find a few volleys. I mean, they want to, might want to set this unit up a bit more, like, uh, here. I don't know. Or are they going to set this line? They might be setting this uh, Italian line of trip there. They should do that. I mean, Russia's... I don't know. I mean, Russia must have more. Uh, well, yeah, he still has actually quite a lot, but... 
Feels like Russia's lines are pretty thin. Well, he's just quite stretched out over a large area. I mean, there is another Russian army on the way. Look at this. Oh, boy. And there is a lot of Russian goons here. They look like they're not slowing down. They look like they're just going to rush straight in. Yeah, they are. And they're going in against some uh, goons of France. Oh, boy. I feel like those Russians got a, yeah, those Russians got hit by artillery just before, by uh, this artillery cheval here, just before they collided. That definitely helped them. And now can Rush, can France counter and like attack the Russians' uh, lines here? Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know what they're going after. They're going after more cab by the looks of it. This is really deep into enemy lines that they're going. I don't think they'll win this one. And France has routed, yeah. I felt like they kind of exhausted themselves and also getting shot by units as they fall, like as they form square. Definitely did not help. And uh, it looks like Chasseur Cheval tried to also join the charge. That got broken. But uh, is now Russia going to counter charge? They're going to go, for, yeah, I think Russia's like, you know what, we won one calf fight as well. We're going to go in. And they're going to go after this uh, artillery. Is France going to send forward his uh, lancers here? I don't know. This artillery now fires, hits the, uh, hits the Russian cap, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And they're going to get Ma Ney's calf here. Uh, Ney's uh, artillery, sorry. Nade now sends in his uh, Chevalier Galances, which look amazing, by the way. I love that green and red combo. It looks amazing. And they have actually routed the, uh, the cap here, and the uh, artillery is all intact, really. And it's, is it going to fire again? It's pretty quick firing artillery, if I say, do say so myself. You're going to have to fire, Sonny Jim. You're firing and loading. What it's firing at, but it's firing at something. Yes, the line battle over here is intensifying. Seems like France is still giving ground. He's still not happy. I mean, in fairness, here you can see there's one, two, three Russian units here dueling with one French. I mean, the French can't deal with those odds. I don't know why these Italians haven't moved up yet. They definitely need to think about moving up to support these uh, these Frenchies. I mean, this is still Eugene's call. Why they haven't, like, this Eugene's not helping himself? I don't know. Ney's having to shift all of his troops now over here to face a new Russian threat. He seems like he's, he's scaring off uh, some of these uh, Russian infantry. And what is this? We're seeing the cuirassiers now moving. They're kind of moving out and isolating themselves a little bit. Prussia may be able to take them out. Don't know what Prussia's got over there. We'll have to see. But it seems like Russia is moving forward and France is suffering. This morale is not looking great. Three, four men, prepare to fire. The, Aus uh, the, the Russians are on us. These Russians are doing well. They are doing well. Oh, the officer's been shot though. Or oh, the flag bearer's been shot. No! How could they? Oh, no, they've shot the drummer boy. They're taking out all the uh, important stuff. Only the officer remains. Someone should have been picking up that flag. Pick up the flag. You fools. There you go. They're getting danger closer, these uh, these Russians. They're getting like, point blank range. And the French are probably loving this. Getting some great shots of them. But here we go. Bayonet charge. Russia going in. They should route this French unit here. If you can route this unit, he's got like a soft in behind, really. Because uh, Ney's only got like trillieres here. What we got over here? More, this is more Eugene stuff. We've got conscripts of the Royal Guard here. I believe these guys aren't that great. I've seen them before. Even though they're Royal Guard, they are conscripts. So we'll have to see how they do. But yeah, Russia's, rush <laughs> Russia's rushing in. There he goes. All he does, Russia rushes in. He's routing more line infantry, just like that. Seems like he can't stop them. Russia is just king of bayonet charges right now. France is, yeah, just having a real rough time. Got some Italian, like, Laguerre here. They're not going to... Actually, they did okay. They, they kind of, I'm kind of surprised they did so well. They're actually going to chase these uh, Russians down, make sure they, get, they break properly. I mean, some cavalry over here, maybe to try and route the Russians might be not the worst idea. And they're forming square. Uh, I guess because they see this cab moving up. They've got, like, um, ca uh, Italian Dragoons. Now would be the time to hit this unit while it's in square. Hit it hard with uh, infantry.
May over here, though, seems to be doing okay. He's got West, uh, West of Aliens. I mean, they can't really see anything. Kind of, the Russians are kind of hidden behind a hill. We've got more Russians over here. There's just hundreds of them. Thousands, even. And they are drooling with the friends. But it seems like uh, it seems like Prussia not interested in pushing forward yet. I don't think he likes the position that Austria is holding. It's a pretty good position. I see more Russians going in, charging in, trying to break these Italians, and the Italians survive another charge. Look at this. Who says the Italians aren't as good as the French? I don't know what I'm talking about. Clearly, I'm no expert on this game. The Italians are great. Got some. Uh, looks like some Russian dragoons here. I mean, maybe they'll get sent in somewhere. Maybe try and break a line. Maybe we could try and break the line here, to be fair. I don't know. We'll see. But France is uh, certainly feeling the pain right now. Certainly Ney, over, Ney and Eugene right now are feeling the strain when it comes to uh, this line battle. It is pretty brutal. Artillery setting up very close. Look at this. Ney's got artillery really, really close. And he's going to get charged now by uh, R Russian goons. This is not a good idea. He's going to lose his cab. There we go. In go the Westphalian Lancers. They're going to try and stop him. And the artillery is in real trouble right now. Down to six men, six crew. I feel like this is probably gone and done for. Yeah, that's broken. We also have, uh, looks like more. I don't know what's going on in here now. More uh, Westphalian lances going in. And looks like France is just going to win by the skin of his teeth, but uh, he has, it has cost him his artillery. And this unit here is form square, and they're going to route all the French cavalry. I mean, we've got French chasseurs and cheval here as well. They might want to try it. They're like Italian chasseurs, cheval, to be precise. Uh, they are now going to get charged by more Russian dragoons by the looks of it. And they've been routed just like that. I don't know why they just got left there. Russia's now moving forward and Russia's gone in with his cavalry. He's carried on the charge. We've got a uh, Italian and a Westphalian. Uh, more Westphalians here. Now he's brought a lot of cavalry. All these Westphalians. Scared off the Russians. Didn't break and just scared them off. Oh, Hussar's also getting hit by their own artillery. That's not so good. Or friendly artillery. It's Bavarian, uh, Bavarian artillery here. That Eugene's brought up. So Eugene's got a mix of Germans and Italians. And French. A multicultural army. And it seems like... Over here, France has also w uh, won the fight. Here's Italian Dragoons winning, sending back, uh, well, looks like they scared off any Russian Dragoons. And now we have a France and Russia bayonet battle down here. Another one. We've got Italian line infantry here battling away. It seems like they're going to beat these Musketeers. Conscripts of the Royal Guard. They're moving up. And there you go, they did win that fight with the French, and that's huge. They can now push back the Russians, maybe, here. I feel like Russia is doing so well here, and they're now kind of getting stalled by Eugene's uh, fresh troops coming up. They did so well against... Um... Yeah, we've got Carabineers here in the Royal Guard as well, so we've got some pretty decent units coming up here. And we've got Grenadiers as well. So yeah, looks like Eugene's bringing up all of his reserves. Ney looks like he's kind of shifting more towards supporting this other Russian and Prussian fight here uh, get, uh, with Austria. And I don't know what's happening with this other Prussian army. This one's just delaying. I really should be pushing hard now. I mean, unless it's like being told it can't attack yet. Like this Prussian army should be pushing. There's nothing here. Um, I'm hearing more cavalry, uh, more infantry charges. It's 
conscripts, so they're gonna be able to, they should be able to do well. Let's have a volley, boys. A volley for Italy. Line of French, though, ruling it out. Carabineers here, more of these boys. I mean, these are, I presume, a pretty elite line from three. It seems, to be, it seems like Prussia's holding his own. Prussia, Prussia and Russia usually kind of suck in, like. Uh, musket battles, but they seem to be doing okay at the moment. We've actually got Austria giving ground. And you've got Murara over here. He's kind of uh, a little bit close to the front line, in my opinion. I want to get back. These are definitely like Prussian cuirassiers, I think. Just so by the size of the unit and also by their look. And I believe the Prussian cuirassiers are in wide. They need to be facing off against the French ones that are now making their appearance. Got a building over here that's on fire. Jeez. It's 100% damage. And see, all these Prussians in here seem like they're quite content with just sitting here waiting, getting shelled by artillery. That's what they're currently being right now. These are Prussian Russian uh, uh, infantry here, and they're just getting shelled. Just getting shelled. France actually losing here. You can see line infantry being broken. Uh, I believe these might, these might be Germans, yeah, these are Oldenburg, uh, infantry. And I can hear cavalry charging again. And it's Prussia setting forward his, uh, his cuirasses by the looks of it. And in they go! How are they gonna do? I don't know. They broke pretty damn quickly is what they did. Dragoons here sending them back and they've got infantry here as well forming square. Yeah, they, they had a rough time. And actually, Austria taking the advantage and pushing Onto, uh, Ru uh, onto Prussia. Austria pushing on Prussia. Uh, his Hussars taking them out. He could have possibly even got this unit. This one wasn't paying attention. Definitely going to snipe them out. But they're going to go into the front lines over here. See what can form square, I guess. And they're routing these Prussians. Oh, yeah. That did a lot of damage there. They, I think they... Yeah, Austria's being just sent back as well. S sent back to the abyss. A few volleys, and now we're going to see. Oh, yeah, this is an uh, Austrian unit that's got in behind. This is huge. This little Hussai unit here. They just routes so many Austrian units. Well, I say that, and then we've got some, uh, some Prussian captain and Prussian goons. And they're routing them. So uh, that didn't last too long. But they have actually, well, they routed a few, you know. That's kind of forced Prussia back. That's huge. Really well done. And we've got some more little like, Hussai units here coming up. Very, very well done here. And we've got squares being broken. Don't usually see that. And yeah, Austria, uh, Austria's done a really good job here. Breaking a lot of the Prussians. And now you can see we've got the... Uh, I mean, this might be the other Prussian player. He's now pushing up uh, infantry. We've got Russia also sending over cavalry. To try and stabilize the situation. But Russia's also uh, being forced back. And you can see we've now got French Cav here. Eugene's bringing across his... Uh, Royal Guard Dragoons, general, and a, ge a general has been killed. Um, we've actually had, I believe, whose general is that? We've had a little Chasseur Cheval. I'm going to say it might be a Prussian general. Looking at the uniforms, I'd say Prussian. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, Griffin lost his general. And you can see he's trying to get some uh, revenge. He's going to send a, a little, like, a little Lance to try and get rid of these uh, Chasseur Cheval. He didn't, in fact, do it, so well done. Uh, but it's a little too late. His general's dead. We well, can see France is now pushing across the river here. Or oh, he was temporarily. He's now changed his mind. Seems like uh, Russia's kind of dealt with the, uh, like, stabilized situation. He's retreating to the uh, to the outskirts of Dresden, and he's going to just uh, sit there instead. And it seems like Prussia and Russia as well on full retreat here now, after the loss of a general and quite a lot of loss of uh, like cavalry and infantry. As well, when uh, Austria really pushed forward there. Yeah, these 
These officers are still looking pretty damn magnificent in their white uniforms right now. They're looking pretty damn magnificent. The battle has sort of died down a little bit. So I'm just going to, uh, well, I, hit, I say that and hit musket fire going. I mean, it's just a little bit of skirmishing. So we'll just fast forward a little bit. See uh, who's going to move up next. Seems like Austria is getting ready for round two with uh, Prussia. This might even be round three, technically. Um, but yeah, they've done a good job. Ney's still relatively... Well, actually, I say that. This is all Eugene here. Well, it's a bit of both, actually, Ney and Eugene. So Ney's still got some decent stuff. Left some decent infantry. And uh, Murat's still alive as well. He's got some cab, but I mean, I feel like he's run out, running low on that as well. Good thing they have still got Murat as a... Uh, as a jet, well, like as a core commander, because France needs the cav, I feel. France is going to need cav. I'm not entirely sure how many of the Allies have got yet, but they've definitely got a few left. Look like uh, maybe Prussia's going to push forward here and come for a second attack. And there's truly Dragoons, you know, he wants to get a few charges on them. You see, they're trying to go for this uh, artillery here. Are the uh, Prussians, they should succeed in taking it out. Well, I don't know. They did a good job there, did the French. They, uh, just about, yeah, well done. Just about saved that artillery. Oh, well, I'd say that it's just routed now. That's not so good. Will the Dragoons try and just charge the Prussians? They may do. I'm sure these Prussians can form square. They are grenadiers, after all. So maybe they'll just try and get these Dragoons in behind and just leave them there to linger. Who knows? And Prussia again on the retreat, so we'll uh, we'll keep fast forwarding. Oh, actually, well, I'll say that France is about to just take out this unit here. I mean, that's not the end of the world. We don't need to see that. We knew what was going to happen. Prussia was going to get mauled was the answer. Um, but yeah, I don't know what Prussian forces are in here, but they need a push. Like they have got a pretty open uh, way into Dresden right now. I mean, I don't know how much of an army is here because, like I said, I think some of this. Like, this Prussian force here might be a combination of two different armies. Um, so this might not be a full full army here. But even, like, there are a few forces. They may want to try and open up this front here against the uh, against the Austrians. Try and get another way into Dresden. Because I presume that's the objective, is to take Dresden um, for the Allies. Or the coalition forces, I should say. But, yeah, they're actually very much in retreat. Uh, they are very, very much hiding. But so I hope you guys are enjoying this battle. If you are, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, it is very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, if you want to, like, like I said, if you want to send in your own replays, like I said, you know what to do. You send them in to the, uh, into the Discord. Basically, it's the best way to send them in. I mean, we have killed. Oh, we got another general sir. killed. Austria's lost an, and Prussia, sorry, has lost another general. Oh dear. So now we've had. Uh, Bring back the mili bring back militia, losing his general. That is not a good sign. So that means we're, well, the Allies are down two generals. France is yet to lose one, and they're actually sending in cavalry here. We've got dragoons rushing in, and I guess there is not much here because otherwise they would have found more. There seems like there's not that much uh, infantry in there. The dragoons did right, but they did in fact route the infantry as well. There's a couple of units in here. There's like. Some more infantry there. There's some more like, like Russians here as well. Like Russian like fighting for the Prussians there. Seems like they've not got much. So they might be able to just mop this side up and then push this way. You never know with the French. Who knows? These conscripts though, they're doing their they're doing their best. They're conscripts, so they're technically still trainees. That's something like that. It's basically how conscripts work, right? You're just trainee soldiers. But, uh... It's, uh... It seems like the French have got this... Not under wraps at the moment, but, I mean, at, at the moment it's under wraps. I wouldn't say the battle's lost for the Allies here. I think they've still got a fairly def decent res uh, resources left. And also, you see what happens with the Russians when they, they get into combat with the French. Nine times out of ten, they seem to be winning at the moment. Um, the French were sort of turning around because uh, Eugene was setting up, for, like, fresh troops to face the uh, more tired Russians, but I still like feel like the, the Russians have still got the ability to turn this around. You can see Austria over here really pushing on the what Prussian forces in there. I feel like he's trying to you know, work out what's in there and you can see there are more Prussians arriving or returning I should probably say. They're probably not arriving. I think we've seen most of the armies now. 
they're sending some uh, skirmishers packing. These boys definitely can't deal with line infantry. That's you definitely don't want skirmishers dealing with line infantry in line while the line infantry's in range. It sounds like there might be troops in here still. Yeah, there are. There is infantry. What are you doing in here, guys? Your building is 100% damage. They can't. See, I can't. I guess the uh, French can't see what's in there, but there is stuff firing from that building. That can't be okay. This building's on fire. Oh, it's 85% damage now. It's not 100%. It, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, just one side. Oh, okay. Is it that bigger building? Yeah, it's that bigger building. That only one side is 100%. Well, another part is 85%, and one part is 36. So I'm gonna presume the men are probably in like the eight, in the 85 or the 36. Probably the 36 to be safe. But, uh, yeah, that building has been shelled a lot. But, uh, Russia seems like he's coming back. It looks like he's going to try and uh, make a crossing again over here. Eugene is kind of ready for him, but he's not got much in the way over here. He's got some in... He has got some boys ready. He's got some Laguerre here. Les Doges. The Doges of Italy. They're also get hit. Oh, what are they firing at? Cavalry? Oh, they're shooting at these Russian uh, dragoons here. They're just chilling. Russian dragoons that are just chilling here. And they really could go and get these uh, Italian ones if they wanted to. Yeah, I feel like Russia's, uh, Russia's a little bit more tentative about charging now because, uh, I don't know, the balance power shifted a little bit maybe after that big push by the Allies and then the, uh, the French and the Austrians repulsing it. The Austrians now are, uh... Well, it looks like they're gonna try and just finish whatever was in here. Was ever in this building. Send it packing. I mean, I feel like this is a bit overkill. They're sending a lot here. They're sending most of their infantry in this direction. Also, so is uh, Eugene. I feel like they must think there must be, like, an entire Prussian army out here waiting. But I think the Prussians have shifted most of it, like I said, to the center. I think they've left this side entirely, which is a bit strange because the the Austrians had like nothing here. Uh, in fairness, Eugene was still moving in, but like I feel like they could have definitely come and taken uh, like advantage of like the weak side on this side. There's just a lot of cav. There's a lot of cav and a little bit of infantry. And here we go. There is something in there. I'm not entirely. What was it? I mean, there's a couple of guys outside. I don't know what it is. Um, it looks like some light infantry or something are in that building. I imagine uh, Austria will. Deal with it and send uh, send some boys in there. They've got some uh, Hungarians going in by the looks of it. They look like they might do the job. They look like they might do the job. We've got, uh, it looks like some more. Oh, we've got Russians coming up again. Russia is coming back for round two. We have taken the building, sir. And they've taken that building. Though. Those Hungarians have done their job. They've sent the uh, Prussians packing. Line infantry. This line infantry is not looking too hot. It's always it was already at red morale by the time it marched there, and uh, yeah, Austria is also looks like he's it looks like there is Prussians over here. It looks like the Prussians were maybe marching to meet the uh, Austria, meet the Austrians. And the dragoons have just routed with like, that Trillier unit, so uh, that's no surprise there. Oh my gosh, so many Austrians here just piling fire into this one poor little Prussian unit. Run for your lives! It's not worth it. It's not worth fighting. Run. There they go. We've got uh, Dragoons of the Royal Guard here. These guys seem to be just everywhere. They've just covered so much ground. But uh, yeah, these, uh, these Russians want to get out of there as well. But I'm going to fast forward again. It seems as though uh, France, is, uh, France is quite happy to sit where they are. And it seems like the Allies are don't really want to push forward too much either so uh yeah i don't blame them to be honest don't blame them at all um but it seems like france is just it is actually well i'd say they're not pushing forward at all they push pushing for their cuirassiers and it looks like they may be about to go for a charge on these uh line infantry here they might have to they're just going to stand and look at them I can even, why can i combat here no combat here a strange thing a mysterious noise coming from over there. Charge them, boys. Charge them. You're taking a lot of casualties now. You're 97 men. 
I love the officer. Oh my gosh, they can so many casualties. The officer unit was amazing. Or drummer or whatever. Oh my gosh, these guys broke. What was France doing? They just allowed these cuirasses to get broken. Like, the heaviest cap they have available to them, and they just threw it away. And this has been so expensive. Whoever was playing as Murat needs to be kicking himself. They just wasted, and they didn't even form squares. Those, guys, those lines were for the taking. You never know, that might be the turning point. That might be, like, a little bit of a morale boost that Russia needs to push forward. In fairness, there doesn't seem like there's much in the center now. Not too much. There's a lot of guns. A lot of guns, but not much in the way of infantry. I feel like uh, Austria, move, Austria and France moving there, like, not death stack, but their stacks over here to face the Prussians. They might have left them uh, kind of a bit short in the center here. And those cuirasses have rallied, but they won't be the same. They won't be the same. They also need to be careful they're not going to get shot by their own artillery here. That's not going to help. That's certainly not healthy. Yeah, that one guy there, he might want to think about moving. But here we go. Seems like uh, Prussia's gonna give battle over here. He's gonna do. He's gonna open fire. Open fire! The Austrians are coming. They're on their way. There we go. They, this musketeer unit is gonna keep following. Oh, this is another grenadier as well. They're actually retreating. Austria's uh, gonna put a few. Yeah, there's a lot of Prussians there. Look at this. This is where the Prussian army's been. Sat over here. How they could have done with those cuirasses now. They need them over here to deal with these Prussians. Like cockroaches, just out of nowhere, they just appeared. Out of the woodwork. Ready to fight and die for their Kaiser. Well, I say that they're actually running away already. That's pretty... That doesn't help. That doesn't help my uh, point pressure. You're not supposed to just run away. But uh, it seems like Russia's now also... Uh, advancing once again over here in the center. It seems like that uh, beating that cuirassia was enough to push, make them push forward. Nays being broken over here, which is not a good sign. He's actually retreating what remaining infantry he has to Dresden. Eugene looks a little short in infantry as well. I don't know. Maybe the Allies, you know, with all these Prussian hordes over here, they may be okay. But uh, Austria is still routing Russians with his dragoons here. They're trying to uh, reform the lines. We're seeing cuirasses come forward. These cuirasses, please just charge in. Do some work. You're very expensive. Under, under fire, active. Come on, get in there, 50 of you. They need to get in there and do some work. Get some kills. Get some, make yourself, oh no. Come on, cuirasses. You're the most disappointing cuirasses I've seen in a little while now. Disappointing. They broke this uh, Russian unit, but I think I have more to do with this square firing to the back of them than the cuirassiers to be honest. Look at this! Russian Cav now has a free reign because the cuirassiers are gone and they're going to be able to get this Italian artillery. Very nicely done there by Russia. I mean, is there anything to stop that? I mean, they don't really have anything they can stop it with Laguerre here. I mean, they've got infantry as well. Yeah, breaking the Austrians there. Going to go into the next artillery. And like I said, the center is just very much open for the uh, Allies right now. There's just nothing here. I mean, it's a combination of the cuirassiers going, Ney retreating, Ney making a big retreat. Uh, it's kind of left the center, just kind of open. The Austrian cab, uh, Austrian artillery, sorry, did survive. The Russian cab has routed. But yeah, I feel like uh, it's a, I feel like the Austrians and the like a bit of Eugene here have kind of left the center in the lurch a little bit. They don't know what to do. Italian Royal Guard cavalry here just uh, routing Prussians as they do. They need to get their uh, infantry moving. Like they need to keep up with this Prussian infantry. And I'm surprised Russia is still not push, bothered to push across here against Eugene, but Eugene is uh, in retreat and he's going to retreat to the inner parts of uh, Dresden. I mean, it's going to make it tough. It, like, once you get into these choke points, it's just one infantry. Uh, like, it's going to be like maybe one, two infantry units firing at like one or two more. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal and the slow and slog 
and sloggy. It's not going to be easy to break through. Oh, this should be easy to, like, mop up. I mean, still got, a uh, looks like Muraz out here. He seems like he, I think Muraz lost his entire force now. It's just down to Muraz. Now he's lost the cuirassiers. So, uh, he may, we may see him just go in and self-sacrifice himself for something, maybe for these guns. I, but it doesn't look like these guns are going to be saved either. They know what's happened. They've lost their, uh, gun carriages. They're not safe. Quickly load! Fire canister! <laughs> Certainly didn't fire canister there. You might want to start thinking about it though. These guys are definitely in canister range. And they won't certainly be getting any closer. Yeah, Murat's getting shot. Seems like Austria is setting forces back. I think you has realized. And um, Prussia over here is just luring the French away. Or is the French just being lured away uh, to just try and... Uh, to allow the uh, census really to just benefit. Like Russia here and like Prussia bringing up the hordes. Seems like they still have plenty of fresh infantry. Or it may not be fresh, but it's just, uh, we rallied. There you go. That, uh, that gun's broken, which is no surprise. It's getting shot by so many units of Russians. And, uh, yeah, it seems like, it seems like France over here, is, I don't know what they're doing, really. I don't know why Eugene's making pushes still. He doesn't really have the, uh, the ability to. We've got some, uh, Italians here forming up. But I feel like... Eugene's got to look at the uh, the scenario and he's got to think these troops are in danger of getting cut off. Like, unless they can cross maybe over here somewhere, but I don't think they can. Um, they are in danger of getting cut off because Russia right now can just push towards this point. Towards that choke point and just cut them off. But uh, that's, uh, that is the risk they run right now. He's still fighting on. He's had a rough old battle as Nate today. Not an easy one. Not an easy one. We've got the final French gun here. Murat's like final gun. Getting routed. That might be the final French gun, to be honest. Like final French or Austrian gun. But oh, look at this. I feel like Austria. Austria may be in a little bit of trouble here. I don't know. I mean, he's got French support. This is a lot of Prussians. If they can route this, like all this, France, then certainly I think they're in a good, in a good spot. But uh, I feel like, yeah, Austria's realized how much danger he may be in. There's a lot of Prussians around here. And you need to be careful though. There's still Dragoons back here. The Prussians can't be uh, too overconfident. They could just get quite easily hammered and built. You know, uh, the French need to get a move on though. Eugene needs to get his Italian grenadiers, his conscripts to guard here. Carabiner he's got he's brought all the good stuff over here. Carabineers. Yeah, all the good stuff here. Well, we just have some basic uh, Austrian line infantry. Nothing too fancy. It's already in the retreat. Giving ground once again. We're just going to see. I think we might just see a charge. Yeah, Grenadier's just going to charge in. They're going to deal with this uh, Prussian line infantry here. Break them very easily, I imagine. Yep. And here we go, cavalry in the back lines. That's going to go in as well. This is tired. It's going to go in for these grenadiers. It might as well. Might as well break these grenadiers. They seem like they're doing okay. Look, they were, they were doing well. They should have broken these guys. They are breaking uh, Prussians here. And Prussia, I think... Maybe Prussia's a little bit worried. I don't know, but I mean, 
I know Austria's now sending force over here to deal with the Prussians, but it's a shame that he didn't, like, um, keep these troops here, because they could have potentially encircled all of these Austrians. Oh, they have the cav on this side. It's kind of been, like, a whole flank on its own. And these Austrians here could have been, like, where my uh, cursor is right now. And then you've got, obviously, the Austrians and the French here that are kind of, like, force it, uh, enclosing them. But, yeah, they are in a lot of trouble, actually, these uh, Prussians, by the looks of it. Prussians have no, Prussia have no generals either, so their morale's going to be pretty shocking. Are they going to charge? No, they are forming up. Forming up to get shot right now. They're just getting butchered. There you go. There you go. French camp coming in, and they charge you to the camp form square. If this is the same, same grenadier unit, I'll be fuming. Because they charged it earlier, and it didn't form square, and they could have broken it. And they need to keep this cavalry alive. This is good cavalry. Apparently, it's Royal Guard cavalry. Must be good. The Grenadiers, they look like they're eager for another fight. They're going, actually, they're charging in. I love, the, like, how um, like Napoleon, Napoleon's units charge. It's kind of hilarious. Yeah, this is not looking good. I thought, like, Prussia had a chance here. Prussia had no chance. As soon as France arrived, just wiped the floor with them. Here we go, we're going to see Italian uh, Grenadiers going against the Prussian Grenadiers. Now would be the time to send the cavern. I mean, if you had to, I feel like these units might be fine anyway. If you have to send the cavern, send it now, flank around. Yeah, these, these uh, Italians are losing. Italians are losing. Have they broken that one. Oh, they broke both. That was impressive. These guys are losing slightly and they still managed to win. Well done, them. Well done, them. And now you can see pressure is uh, cut off from joining his allies. Russia is very much, though, pushing into the city. Look at this. Got a huge push here. The machines, Italians are going to hold them back. They managed to do it just about. We have even more Russians pouring in. This is a lot of them. I don't think this is going to be an... Oh, and we've got, also, we've got Prussians here as well. I feel like Eugene may be about to die. Uh, Eugene's infantry here is very much surrounded. We've also got like, what remains of Ney here, I think. I feel like they may be about to die. Austria... No, Austria. Um, Prussia here is setting up. Ready to gun them down. Remember, the objective is to take uh, to take Dresden. So I guess they're going to take all these buildings in Dresden, and I guess and that, that is them, them officially taking Dresden. But yeah, as you can see here, there's too many, too many Russians, too many Prussians, and I mean, all these units here from Ney are kind of like already beaten, like they've been beaten once, and they're also just like morale is so low. But I mean, Austria is pretty close. Austria is rushing troops back. They've routed all these uh, Prussians here. They need to get their troops back inside the city. I don't know if Ney and uh, Eugene can hold on, though. And these units have been broken. And then come the Prussians at the rear. Oh, jeez. Routing everything. And there you go. Ney, I think, is all but gone. I don't know where Ney's general is though. Eugene's there. I presume Ney is somewhere, but I am not entirely sure he's here. Yeah. Here he is. The red line. Apparently he's been called today. He's not the brave of the brave. Eugene's still uh, looking very healthy. Allies have captured a building? Oh, they're actually there. Okay, so the French have uh, decided to put some troops inside here. It's got some Italian infantry inside this building. Can't get them all in though. Still a good portion of their troops outside. So I presume the Russians will gun them down. But Austria is the most healthy army by far, I think, of anyone now on the battlefield. That'll be allies or French. And they need to get inside quickly and try and save this uh, save this situation here for the uh, for the French, because right now the coalition forces are on the doors of Dresden. 
quite literally knocking on doors. They're knocking on doors with muskets. Oh boy, brutal musket fire. Well, this is the thing now, like, now that you have a unit partly outside the city, or like outside the, uh, outside the building, morale I feel like is down much quicker because you didn't shoot it. A building's falling to the enemy. Oh, Prussia's actually taking this building over here. There you go. They have snuck in and taken that out. I mean, I feel like it, it could be any moment and now. The Allies are technically going to win because they're going to hold both buildings. The guy here, though, holding its own. Fire, quickly, fire! Every shot you have. This building has fallen there you the go, they've actually taken it. Russia now holds this building. So I guess now, technically, the, uh, the French have, like, well, they've not lost, but, like, they, they are losing. They need to retake it. They got some Italians doing just that. Dresden cannot fall. Cannot be allowed to fall. Here we go. Austria's about to arrive back in the city. It seems like, uh, well, I don't know. Over here, France has got troops still over here. It's, like I said, they, the danger can cut off. Got cavalry rushing in here. Italian dragoons going in. They're going to try and route what looks like the uh, the Russian ones and some uh, some Russian infantry. They've retaken a building though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which building that was. Is it this one? It might be because the uh, because the Prussians left it. Certainly isn't this one. This one is very much infested. Well, actually infested with uh, Russians, but it actually might not be now. So the French might be in charge of it. Garrison combat went in. They're still fine for it, okay. Infantry here though, being charged and broken. I don't know if they were the ones that were in combat. I think they might have been. They're going into the building now, making sure they're routing. Yeah, the French are battling still in here. It's not looking good. Eugene is going to need Austrian support and desperately, desperately needs it. I mean, we're seeing a little bit more of Eugene's core retreat as well. We've got some line infantry here getting back in. And now you can see what remains of the uh, the Russians here are pushing in. I like how these Italian... Oh, the yeah, so they did retake it temporarily and then they've uh, lost it again. So uh, that building has already changed hands now, what, three times? So uh, it's going to be a brutal building and you can see the Russians battling on, firing the line infantry here, doing their best. Taking a building. Oh, this one all the way over here. Okay, well, I don't think this one's gonna matter. Conscripts to the guard. You'd be better getting back inside and getting, uh, like Dresden back. And they've taken another building. Which one building are you taking now? Oh, this one over here. Also held by guardsmen. It'd be better just sending all their troops back and rushing back here. Take retake the LOC. We've got a massive melee battle down here going on. Looks like Russia's sending in his cavalry. Trying to route these uh, watchers, which is so blocked up right now. And uh, they're definitely, I feel like these Hungarians definitely broke some of their comrades, but they also broke the Russians, which is just more important right now. Like I said, Austria needs to get a shuffle on, they need to get moving. They're blobbing up a little bit here, and they've actually broken. Pressure is battling on. They've all done really, really good jobs in this battle. It's been a pretty intense one. It's been a fun one as well to watch. Um, and it's still like, got a, an interesting ending because I guess whoever holds these buildings, they, they're going to win, technically. And if, I mean, if one holds, they hold one each, I guess it's a draw. Titans here, though, they're getting forced back by uh, Russians. I don't know, guys. I don't know if Austria's going to have enough. I mean, he might. Seems like a lot of Russians breaking right now, but... 
whole armies can break when trying to storm buildings. And whole armies can certainly break when you're charging, uh, charging units that just give you a brutal volley like that. Oh boy. Okay, it seems like Austria is coming out on top. I mean, Prussia has no generals. We have to remember, Prussia has no generals. So they're breaking pretty quickly. Might be okay, but uh, Schwarzenberg here, leading from the front himself. This building has fallen to the enemy. Another building that's fallen to the enemy. Oh, the Prussians taking another one over here? Okay. They're just shooting, routing French units. That's poor. Poor form from them. But yeah, it seems like Russia's got maybe... Five, six units left. I feel like everyone's just trying to take buildings now. Everyone is just trying to take buildings, but they haven't got like the points on, so like how much is worth. So I don't know really if you can do an LOC sort of victory, but we're gonna find out, I guess, because that seems like what everyone seemed to do. France, Prussia, Russia hasn't really done it yet, bar taking these buildings here. Instead of Dresden. Doesn't seem like they're that bothered about uh Doing an LOC that I mean they, they want to win it the Norway. They want to yeah. wipe out Russia and Austria, but I don't know if they're gonna A little bit of a battle going out here. We've got, we've got more Russians coming up. And they're about to go in deal with these Austrians. Well the Austrians are gonna come and deal with them. We got a uh, Ney here battling with one of the Russian generals. Can they like? That's it. That's awesome. Let me see uh, general v general, perhaps. I don't know. We have taken the building, sir. But they've retaken this building of Austria, and that's probably going to. Uh, that's probably going to be the deciding factor. And I don't think they've got anything left now. The Russians really to uh to like retake this building now austria has arrived just in time this building to, has uh, fallen to, take to it. the enemy but uh, a building's fallen to the enemy oh this one over here well i don't think that one matters i feel like it's just gonna be the ones here on in dresden that is gonna matter so like these two here i mean they actually hold one still do uh russia so that's something and they've killed a general uh, they've lost the general here. It's, I think Ney just died. Yeah, Ney, I think, has just died. But the Russian general is broken. They have also got buildings. So that's good. And uh, like I said, I think that is going to be the battle. We've got mere seconds left. And it's been a long one. I hope you guys have, uh, like I said, enjoyed it. I hope you've had plenty of snacks and drinks to keep you going for this Napoleonic action. But we are nearly at the end. And what a great way to celebrate a Sunday beautiful day both here with all the dead bodies and outside but we'll just fast forward I don't think they'll get this building in time and um, there are actually some Prussians as well that are gonna desperately probably try and save the building but uh, Austria will try their hardest but they have zero seconds left and there you go a draw but I would say it was a probably like a maybe an LOC victory for the uh, for the French because they still held Dresden partly um, but yeah, this one was sent in by uh, Saul Berrison, who was uh, playing as the Austrians. Um, so thank you uh, for sending it in. Very much appreciated. I believe it is Casual, who's uh, as he's known on Discord. But yeah, so thanks Casual for sending this one in. Um, got 100, uh, 1,000, sorry, 1,267 kills. Uh, second most in his team. R um, Ney nearly getting 1,000. Mura only getting 409. Jeez. I mean, he has got small army. But still, Cav should be getting a lot of kills usually and Eugene getting nearly 2,000 really well done so yeah well done to Pius to Saul, uh, to Casual to Athenios and to Nicotine Reliance on uh, their victory there uh, I'm gonna say victory anyway I mean it is technically a draw but yeah well done to all the players really I mean well done to Teti Ross to Griffin to um, Alexander uh, and to bring back the militia as well all did really really well um, with their armies um, and yeah we have a okay. So we had Dutrov. We had uh, let us uh, let us go. I definitely can't pronounce that name, but that's a Russian, um, Prussian like combo. And then we had um, her, um one of the uh, like 
Hohenlindens, I think they're called, or something like that. And then we've got Evigration there as well. I'm definitely butchered names there, but I mean, yeah, most of the coalition forces are struggling to get a thousand bar uh, Alexander's Evigration uh, uh, army there. But yeah, well done to all the players. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, feel free to support the channel in any way you can. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.